Good morning, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back. Sadie says hello. She looks a little camera shy today. So I've talked to you guys about phantom pain, right? Like when it feels like my ghost foot is on fire or like someone's stabbing with a cattle prod. But you know what I haven't talked to you about? <sighs> One of the most aggravating aspects of being a new amputee. Say hi to Sophie, she just joined us. Isn't she cute? Envision with me for just a moment a scenario in which you are uh, sitting at your desk at work, let's say, and your toe itches. Well, that's a normal thing. Toes itch and you go down to itch it and it doesn't exist anymore. And you think, okay, well, I'm sure it'll just go away, right? Phantom sensation happens. What happens when that itch doesn't go away for hours? I have been working at home all day today. I started at about 7 a.m. and it is now 7 p.m almost, it's like 6.30. My toe and the bottom of my heel that no longer exist have been itching like crazy. But like, not like, not like I wanna pull my hair out itching, but just itching enough where I need to scratch it, but I can't. Now, here are a couple techniques that I've been shown that sometimes help with it, uh, and they've like toned it down a little bit, but can you imagine having an itch that would not go away for like six hours? I hope not, I hope you don't have to imagine that because it is really freaking annoying, but here's some things that help. Step one, if you're missing a body part, but you have the opposite body part, like this situation, is to itch the opposite foot. So if my ghost foot, you know, the one out here that no longer exists is itching like crazy, I might actually like scratch the part of this foot that corresponds with what itches on the other side. And if I seem a little bit crazed, it's because this has been itching all day and it's it's aggravating. It's not the worst thing in the world, I'll survive, but it's aggravating. But another thing that really helps me is, this is gonna look weird, it's just gonna look weird, is to way overstimulate my residual limb, my stump. I do that by like shaking it. So I will just like, just like shake it like crazy, right? And sometimes I feel like that kind of fries the electrical signals or whatever's going on down there that causes the weird itching feeling. Uh, also, I've tried using a TENS unit. That doesn't seem to help me with phantom pain or phantom sensation. It definitely helps some people. Also, one of those like drugstore massage things that like vibrates, you can put that up to like the bottom of your limb and it's helped me before too. I'll also try, I've also tried like actually like, like itching the actual skin that I do have left, but that doesn't seem to do anything this time around. Really, I made this video to mostly complain, frankly. Mostly, mostly, mostly complain. And, uh, and share an experience that's kind of a new one. I know that some people get it really, really bad. Like they get phantom itching all the time. This is the first day where it's lasted for like hours. It's tolerable now. But phantom pain stinks because it hurts. But itching is so constant and so present in your mind. You like have to take care of it, right? It's been a weird day. It's probably reflected in my mood. Maybe make myself some chamomile tea calm down a little bit and hang out with my sea of shepherds here and uh, hang out with my sea of shepherds here. That's it for a short video today, guys. I love you, I'm thinking of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, it just started up again. This is annoying. Have heard from the sky.